Hey everyone, this is Veronica Wasik with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. Do you have undeposited funds in your QuickBooks? And are those balances really old? Well, you're not alone. This is an area that most untrained users struggle with in the fact that they don't know where undeposited funds come from and they don't know how to get rid of them once they start accumulating in their QuickBooks. So we're going to show you today in this tutorial uh, the main reasons why you have old undeposited funds in your QuickBooks. And not only that, we're also sharing with you our expert uh, tips and tricks on how to clean that up. So in fact, we'll sh share with you our two methods that we used for cleaning up undeposited funds. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to our channel to get the latest QuickBooks online tutorials and cleanup topics, as well as tips for growing your bookkeeping business. And also visit our blog at 5minutebookkeeping.com. And here's Andre with the tutorial. Hi there, fellow QBO users. Today, I'm gonna show you how to clean up undeposited funds in QuickBooks Online. So the number one reason for old customer payments in undeposited funds is an improper workflow. An improper workflow happens when untrained users don't follow the proper order of money in transactions. Let me introduce you to Eric. Eric is new to QBO and doesn't understand the QBO money in workflow. Let's go over what Eric did. First, Eric created an invoice in QBO for $200 on March 1st and sent it to his customer, Cool Cars. Later, on March 21st, Eric received the $200 payment from his customer, Cool Cars, and he recorded that customer payment in QBO. He recorded the payment to undeposited funds. Because Eric isn't familiar with the QBO money and workflow, he happens to be working in the QBO banking section and sees a money and transaction for $200. Without giving it much thought, he adds the $200 transaction to QBO by clicking on the add button without paying much attention to the details, like how the transaction is defaulting to uncategorized income. But later, when he's reviewing his numbers, Eric sees a $200 balance in undeposited funds on his balance sheet. Alarmed, Eric opens the bank deposit window. This window shows the customer payments, which are currently in the undeposited funds account. And there, he sees that $200 customer payment from Cool Cars. So, why is it still there? Well, it's there because Eric used an improper workflow, and now he's left with an old customer payment, which is sitting in undeposited funds, and a money in transaction categorized to uncategorized income. I'm now going to show you two methods you can use to clean up undeposited funds. First, the remove and record method, and second, the dummy bank account method. Now, I'll show you how to clean up undeposited funds with the remove and record method. Begin by going to the banking section in QuickBooks Online. Next, select the bank account that was used to add that $200 money in transaction. Then, select the In QuickBooks tab. Now, locate the $200 money in transaction. Then, click on Do. This will remove the transaction from QBO. But remember how there's still a $200 payment from Cool Cars sitting in the bank deposit window? Well, now we're going to record a deposit for it. I'll open the bank deposit window, select the checking account, enter the date of the deposit. Now I'll select the $200 customer payment from Cool Cars in the Select Existing Payments list. And I'll select Save and Close. Now, if I go back to the banking section, the downloaded money and transaction will match to the $200 deposit which was just recorded. Simply select Match, and there you go. We just fixed an improper workflow scenario with the Remove and Record method. Next, I'll show you the dummy bank account method for cleaning up undeposited funds. 
So what do you do when you have multiple old customer payments sitting in the bank deposit window, but you don't remember how they got there? You clean them out with a dummy bank account. A dummy bank account is exactly like the name suggests. It's a fake bank account that you can create in QuickBooks Online to clear out old customer payments. I'm going to begin by creating a dummy bank account in the chart of accounts. Once I've created the dummy bank account, I'm going to open the bank deposit window. I'll select the dummy bank account as the account I'm going to be depositing to. I'll select the customer payments that I want to clear out. As you can see, the total deposit is for $300. And then I'll select save and close. So now, because I recorded a deposit, there's money in the dummy bank account but there shouldn't be. After all, it's not a real bank account. So I'm going to take the money out of the dummy bank account by creating an expense transaction in QuickBooks Online. Under Banker Credit Card Account, I'm going to select the dummy bank account. Under Account, I'll select an income account. Try using an income account that you use on a regular basis. Under Amount, I'll enter the same dollar amount as the deposit that I just recorded. The deposit was for $300, so I'm going to make the expense for $300 as well. And finally, I'll select Save and Close. Once I'm done, I'll verify that the ending balance in the dummy bank account is zero. To do this, I'll go to the chart of accounts, find the dummy bank account, and if I look at the balance column, the amount should be zero. That means that everything is clear. I just shared with you two methods for cleaning up undeposited funds. But how do you know which method to use? Let me go over the pros and cons of each method. First, the pros and cons for the remove and record method. The pros. This is the most accurate way to clean up payments in undeposited funds, and it will eliminate any redundant transactions and your sales income will also be correct. The cons. You must work through each payment one by one, so the process may be time consuming. You must also have documentation to back up all the transactions that you are correcting. Next, let's go over the pros and cons of the dummy bank account method. The pros. This is a quick and easy way to clean up old and outstanding payments. You'll also save a lot of time using this method. The cons. Although you may save time, you may lose accuracy. Cleaning out undeposited customer payments with a dummy bank account will understate your income. If you feel like you need further assistance, you should seek help from a certified QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor. Click the link in the description box for the full blog post.